On this episode, we speak with Jeremy McGrath, professional supercross and off-road racer. Introducing the Eyes Up series with Ben Grannis. The Eyes Up mission extends beyond road safety. It's to illuminate, illustrate, and demonstrate the benefits of life away from technology. When we put the phone down, it's a lot easier to look at the beauty around us, listen to the people we love, live life to the fullest. My name is Jeremy McGrath. I'm a seven-time Supercross champion, 2018 short course Lucas champion, and Maxis ambassador. Social media is a necessary evil. You know, I've done most of it myself. I've had some friends come on and help me with some of the stuff I do with Instagram and all that when, um, when I get super tired of it. But I, I just keep it pretty mellow. I don't, I don't overpost. You know, I follow a lot of athletes and still want to mix in some personal stuff. I want it to feel like it's me. I don't want it to be commercial, and I know a lot of it is out there these days, and that stuff's pretty tiring. Like the kids these days, I don't, they don't, they don't know any different. But it's my job to probably try to keep it limited a little bit. They'll sit for hours and look at it, uh, and just look at random nonsense, nothing. It's a time eater, and and you're not learning anything. It's, we make it known that, you know, you're not not supposed to be using your phone in the car. Right, but your yeah. phone can know if you're driving, and then you don't get notifications. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you can have it turn on automatically, or you can have it when it connects to Bluetooth. Yeah, I'll, I'll share it with my daughters, Rona Bergen. Too much screen time is the problem, right? They have a set parameters for screen time. So they, they, you guys use the feature that like... Yep, allows them a certain amount of time, and then if they want more, they have to ask us. For certain apps. Right. And what are the apps that you guys limit? Well, TikTok and Instagram and all the social media ones. What's like the rough window that you guys limit it to? It's like an hour a day or? Yeah, it's like an hour. We have given give them like an hour, I think it is. Hour, hour and 20 minutes or something. Is that on each app or? No, hour total. Okay. Hour total. There's a study that came out, I think it was last year, um, that says that the average American, based on current social media use, will spend about five years of their life on social media over the course of their life. Um, Holy moly. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. That's um, a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of wasted time. Five years. You're missing life itself. That's not life. Looking at a phone is not life. You know, people just, it's like we live in this life of like now, 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 instantly. And if you don't respond, it's like, hey, where were you? What's going on? Blah, blah, blah. You know, and so people just are very, not very patient. Somewhere along the lines, their world's lost a little bit of patience when it comes to creating, you know, your life atmosphere creates drive. You know, if you have a life of excess when you're young, it doesn't give you any reason to work, right? So I think that if people can find reason to work hard, I think if you're young and you, and you, if you can understand that if you have some ability to go do it and you, you can chase your dreams a little bit and chase them for a while, you should, because it can work out. I think you got to put everything into it though. If you, there's no half ways, it's not going to be easy. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to be easy. Being great is not easy. To learn more, visit eyesupride.com.